One of the ways that the simp media shills try to defend bad TV shows and movies like Doctor Who's latest series or the Marvel's yeah, that'll do, is by writing articles that appear at first to be fan pieces, diving into the intricacies of character or story or themes or what have you. Of course, in actual fact, we all know that these are not what they appear to be, but are in fact just trash articles thrown out in some pathetic attempt to saturate the SEO with puff and fluff to take away from the overarching narrative that the show or movie is just trash. They're basically a massive distraction, a diversion, and a load of absolute twaddle. Case in point, as today's article attempts to treat Shooty Gatwa's performance as the Mokta as anything at all resembling the Doctor by inventing elements of his performance that simply weren't there, or spinning a tiny little thing into a giant character arc so that they can throw out a thousand words or so to try and defend the show. Unfortunately, all these filler trash articles actually ever achieve is making people like me actually focus on how dismally poor the writing is uh, in the show or how much soap opera rubbish is actually in the performance. Still, it's fun to take a look at the kinds of absolute drivel that these sites will push out and see what we can glean. So let's do just that. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. Doctor Who's a mess. We all know it. The first two episodes are trash. We've all seen it. The ratings are in the toilet and the audience scores are abysmally low. But of course, that's not anything that the shill media can't try to help cover up for by stealing the attention from the horribly negative reaction to the show by saturating the internet with puff pieces all about the actors, the characters, and everything associated with them. So, of course, we're going to our usual culprit screen rant to have a look at this particular article. But before I do that, I'd like to say, please like the video if you're liking the video. It helps others to find it in the algorithm. And, of course, remember to subscribe to Will of the Fans if you'd like more news, reviews, commentary, and a rebellion, courtesy of me. So, this one from Screen Rant then. Shooty Gatwa's performance sets up 15's dark side after Jodie Whittaker's nice Doctor Who. The name is the Doctor, not Doctor Who. That's the name of the show, not the character. How many times? So, uh, basically, Doctor Who's title character no, it's semi-titular, is often a stereotype of kindness. Not really, no. I mean, kindness is by and large his intention, but more often than not, he gets dragged into awful situations involving conflict, loss, death, and suffering, and has to do something about them because, well, he's so kind, I suppose, but the actual act involves him not being so kind. Just look at what he did to the family of blood, for crying out loud. But Shooty Gatwa brings a cruel edge to the role. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm wondering if they were watching the same thing as me. Shooty Gatwa's Mokta was a flouncy, giggly, hyperactive mess of a character in the first two episodes. Even when he was scared, it was only a brief respite from otherwise long sequences of him bouncing, skipping, ugh, just, just nauseating. Anyway, uh, these guys seem to think that there was some kind of cruelty to the role. Uh, and I'd very much like to see how they're going to try and justify this, so let's continue. Of every actor to play the Doctor, Gatwa isn't the first to tinge his performance with unconventional quirks. I mean, no, that is basically something that is mandatory for the Doctor. As Doctors like Capaldi's 12th and Colin Baker's 6 often deviated from the traditional heroic archetype, yes, of course, they were both a bit more complicated and nuanced. Absolutely unlike Gatwa's. However, in uh, Doctor Who Season 14, Episode 1 or two of season one, if you are a Disnoid, Space Babies, it suggests that Gatwa's 15th Doctor is willing to make himself, put making himself laugh before certain other aspects of an adventure. I don't know, I don't remember much of that. Well, let's see what they're talking about. Gatwa leads the Doctor Who season four, blah, 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 blah. Gatwa's first full episode, blah, 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 bollocks. Gatwa's Doctor intentionally scares the Space Babies, then laughs about it. Is this where he puts the monster on the screen? 
The station's unconventional crew. Unconventional. Uh, I, I mean, I don't really know what to, like, say to that. I mean, not only is it unconventional, it was an awful concept, badly delivered. Something that never should have even been written. Or have all the same traditional likes and dislikes as more realistic infants, despite being six years old. While they love being fawned over, they're understandably terrified of the mucus-based creature lurking on the lower decks. That's right, in case you didn't know yet, it was a snot monster. How mature, Russell. Fully aware of how scared the space babies are of the bogeyman, and we're going to get to that because that's a massive plot hole. The Doctor still fires up the view screen on the bridge to scare the adorable crew completely on purpose. As you see here when they bring it up on screen and they all start freaking out. And this kid who looks permanently confused about everything because he's a baby. Uh, while the dialogue comes out as if he has some idea of what's going on. Which of course he can't because he's a baby. We're getting beside the point here. The point is he then apparently laughs about scaring the space babies. Yeah, okay, that happens. Um, yeah, he's a bit of a dick, I guess. But uh, I wouldn't call it cruelty. He's just... He's an asshole, you know? <laughs> he's an idiot. He's a he's a, a moron. He's got no concept of, uh, of appropriate behavior. I mean, he described being snowmanned to a police officer in Church on Ruby Road which of course has two meanings, don't look it up, you really don't want to know. Anyway, uh, this move is an unexpected one from the Doctor and arguably out of character, well, I guess, maybe. But new personality traits emerging after the regeneration process is nothing new in Doctor Who canon. I don't know about that, um, but here's the thing, right? It doesn't make any sense um, at all, because... The babies, and this is the problem with the plot, the babies are supposed to be scared shitless of this monster, right? But then at the end of the episode, Gatwa decides to save the monster because, oh, it's the last of its species, just like he's been fucking crowbarred back into being. Despite all of the plot arcs of the 50th anniversary and everything after that, that the Time Lords are alive and you can find them again, now they're all dead again, and now he's the last one. Why do you have to keep recycling these plot points? I don't understand it. Anyway, it's stupid. But uh, the point is, he suddenly has an attack of conscience and decides that he is going to save this monster. And no one objects to this, and the babies are all suddenly okay with the monster and laughing and joking and going, Oh, he's so funny, he's one of us. There is absolutely no reason given in the episode, for this dramatic change of approach or attitude towards a giant monster made of snot. Anyway, uh, I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't call that a particularly evil thing. It's just maybe... I didn't even think that he did it on purpose. The way I saw it was just he put it on screen and then saw them scream and then he tried to laugh. Maybe he was trying to laugh to make it seem less scary. Have you never heard of like when a kid falls over? Don't freak out. Just smile and chuckle about it so that they receive their cues on how to behave as a response so that they don't fear walking or running afterwards. This actually could be an extremely nurturing act of kindness by the doctor. Sorry, the Mockter. Let's be honest here, this is never the Doctor. It's certainly jarring to see the Doctor terrorizing innocent children, once again, your interpretation, but it's not something that's done out of any notable malice after the boogie bogeyman, not boogeyman, should be boogeyman, isn't it bogeyman, is unexpectedly fired onto the screen for all to see. The Doctor's laughter turns to one charismatic apology. Well, that's the thing, you see, because he spends most of the episode when the babies are concerned going, oh, baby, 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 poppy, popsicle, let me give you a hug, oh, baby. He doesn't seem at all concerned for having terrified these babies. And really all this has done is just highlight to me how bad the writing is again. So this article has completely and totally failed in its mission of making me want to dive into the character any further than I already have. Do you see what I mean? These articles, they come out, they try to portray something as uh, a deep dive into the character, but when the character is thimble deep, there is no diving to be done. 
This show remains absolute cancer. The performance of Shuti Gatwa is more like something you would see on an episode of EastEnders or Coronation Street or insert American soap opera here than something you'd expect from a, a character actor like David Tennant, Peter Capaldi, or anybody else who ever played the Doctor. Because here's the dirty little secret. Shuti Gatwa is not up to the task. He is not a genre actor. He's not a character actor. He basically only plays himself. If you've seen Sex Education, he plays himself. If you've seen Doctor Who, he plays himself. He is incapable of being anything else, which is why the Doctor has had to be written to suit Gatwa, not the other way around. And it doesn't matter how many articles Screen Rant wants to push out that make pointless, erroneous statements and false deep dives into the character, you're not going to convince anyone that there's anything worth watching this guy for in the first place. Doctor Who is dead. Hashtag rip up. Doctor Who. Let me know how you feel about all this in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed it and of course subscribe to Will of the Fans if you'd like more of me. I'd like to see more of you. I'll be back with another video for you very very soon but until then remember to question everything. Respect the fans. Respect the character and I'll chat to you next time.